said times in his rhymes cause his memories We running through New York so you never leave Shut my lungs then we puff until we're that right We're giving them some stories they come back like Manic this, manic that, why you crawling to me? Okay guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to check your throttle actuators on your BMW S85 engine Now this is a common, common, common issue as many of you guys know And a lot of you don't even realise, you don't even have to take them out to be able to check them You can run this test just with Ista on the car with the engine battery just on without the car even running it or run the test on the throttle actuators to see the lower end stop the top end stop and if they're all functioning as they should and all the cogs are actually moving so i'm going to show you on ista how to check your throttle actuators on your s85 and s65 engine using ista okay guys so here we are in ista again so i've just loaded up ista again so now what we're going to go ahead and do is the same thing as we did on the previous video with the vanos adaptions but what we're going to go ahead and do here is click vehicle management function structure then we're going to go over to powertrain engine electronics and then we're going to come down to throttle valves now again as you'll see here's the throttle valve actuator bank one bank two a lot of you're going to say but where's bank two out of two well it says that because if you want to test one of them you can but the, the abl will load up for all the actuators so you don't have to worry about that now what this is going to do is load up to test all actuators as you'll see right here so we'll do continue test module as you'll see and we'll just click continue. Now it's going to say system test throttle actuator, which we're going to run the tests on them. So we're going to do that. And as you see here, it brings up the two of them. Now you can pick. So we're going to click number one and we're going to click continue. And now it's starting the system test. Now you've got to have the engine off for this, bear in mind while it runs the test. So do please bear that in mind that you must have the engine off to run this test. Now, what we're going to do is just let it run. It's saying the test is running. So let it just do its thing. Now, as you see there, it tells you to jump. So obviously everything's okay, and that's not okay. So we therefore have to change these out, which we're gonna be doing in another video, changing the throttle actuators. So as you've seen there, they're not okay. So as you see here as well, they're showing okay, but it doesn't mean that that's fine. So wherever we've seen a not okay, we have to make sure that it's not okay and just change it. So we're gonna click continue on there and click continue again. Now we're gonna go here again. Now we're going to go to system test throttle actuator again. Now what we're going to do is test the second one. We're going to click continue, continue again. And then we're just going to run the test on the second one. If you're quiet enough while sitting in your car, you'll hear that the throttle actuator is actually moving. You can hear it coming from underneath the engine bay. So we're just waiting for the test to load again. And as you see, they will come back okay. And that's the way it should be. So that just shows you that the test is actually accurate. So what we'll do is go continue on this one. And as you see, the first one's showing not okay in that section. So now we're gonna change them both out anyway, but this is a good test to do. If you buy, say, a second U set online or throttle actuators and you wanna test them before fitting them, this is a good way to test them without having to fit them and then plug the whole car up and then go for a drive to realize you got faults. This is why this program is very, very worth having if you own the S85. So there you have it, guys. That's the test you wanna to run to test the actuators. As you see, there is a lot of tests you can run on ISTA for the S85 engine to be able to test all the components without a lot of people on YouTube showing to remove this, to remove that. You don't actually have to remove anything. This car is so high tech that all you need to do is just have the correct program, have the correct software, and you can diagnose it just from the comfort of sitting in the car. You can bleed the vanal system with just sitting in the car. You don't have to do nothing. This program is so built for the M5 and they made it for all other uh, BMs as well, as well as Mini, as well as Rolls Royce but it's just so thought out for the M5 that you don't have to lift a finger. It's all click on a computer, makes you do everything. You can test everything and know if everything's actually running perfectly smooth on your S85 engine or S65 engine. This is why I love this program and this is why, as I said, I always use to use, use it. A lot of people don't know how to use it and this is why they haven't shown you this, but these are all the tests you can run and many, many, many more with ISTA on the M5 that a lot of people ain't even aware of without having to strip the car to find out that ain't even a problem. And these are the tests you need to run before you become a parts fitter and just fit in any and all parts to try and make the problem go away. This is the way you test the products and that way you can actually ensure that the product is actually at fault before actually removing it. Okay guys, so as you've just seen now, I've just shown you how to check your throttle actuators on your BMW S85 and S65. 
I hope this video has actually helped you. We are going to be do using ISTA a hell of a lot on the E60M5, and I'm going to be showing you how to diagnose issues without having to remove the whole engine and then find out it's not actually the issue or be, a, be able to check 100% that that part is actually the part that has actually failed on your S85. You've got to remember these are very complicated engines, so I'm therefore going to be showing you everything in full detail to use ISTA. If you guys have never used it, I do provide it so I can sell it to you as well. So if you do need it, just contact me or my email address or my Instagram and I can sort that out for you. Thank you very much for watching this BMW Dr. Dean here. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.